Hello, Big Show nerds. I am Dustin, bringing you what normally would be your headlines for December 6th, 2019, but instead is the rumors for December 6th, 2019. Remember, uh, we're only doing one episode a week. It is only going to be rumors, and these rumors today, we're we're talking uh, quite a bit from Star Wars and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and a Wolverine movie and a Martian Manhunter movie and some video games stuff, Xbox Scarlet rumors, all of that right after this. First, and uh, just kicking us right off the bat, is Planet of the Apes. Uh, Now that Disney owns Planet of the Apes, they are apparently going to reboot the series. That part is unclear. Either it's a reboot or they're going to continue the series, though that seems less likely. Uh, uh, They do have a director attached, Wes Ball, who you might recognize the name from the Maze Runner franchise. Uh, No word. Uh, Again, this is really just rumor because we're not doing news. Anyway, we're moving on. Next, we have... A conflicting rumor. Uh, So we already know J.J. Abrams has been tasked with remaking Superman. Uh, There have been rumors floating around that Henry Cavill will still maintain the the red cape and blue tights. Uh, But this rumor says that J.J. is looking to cast David Cornsweet Cornsweet? Cornsweet? Uh, as his Superman. So if the rumors that the DCEU will be split and will have two different timelines, two different universes effectively, then this makes sense. If Cavill, like the other rumors, and we'll get into those in a bit, uh, like the other rumors that are suggesting if Cavill is coming back as Superman, then this one seems really weird. Uh, Next, we're talking about Star Wars. We always talk about The Rise of Skywalker. We probably will continue it until the movie comes out and no longer worried about rumors. So, first rumor we have, uh, if you remember... Uh, There was the rumor uh, a few weeks back that said that there were three different cuts. The J.J. and Kathleen cut, the Bob Iger cut, and then the, uh, the George Lucas cut. Well, now that number has increased. A new rumor suggests that there is or a new series of rumors, I guess, is more appropriate. Because some rumors are saying there's now five cuts of the movie. Some rumors are saying there's up to nine cuts of the movie. And and it's really interesting the mental acrobatics that J.J. is using, if this is true, uh, that J.J. is using, saying that no one has done, uh, no one has seen a a... a a test screening of the movie. Well, if there's nine different cuts, if he's continuing to cut the movie, then yeah, nobody has seen the current cut of the movie as of the time he makes that statement. But then they test screen it because it's Hollywood and they have to make sure that there's going to be an audience, especially after the the debacle that was The Last Jedi. So to, to... To suggest that there have been zero test screenings for The Rise of Skywalker is a little naive. Uh, So I I tend to agree that, yes, there are probably multiple cuts. I don't know how many cuts there are, and I really don't know if George Lucas is actually involved in any of those cuts. But it's really interesting to think about. Uh, And then we have a, a list of rumored cameos that are going to be in the movie. So this one is potential spoiler territory. Uh, I'm, I, I'm Again, I don't read leaks. This is just rumored cameos, so be aware this could spoil s- minor spoilers because some of these we kind of already anticipate. Uh, the first of which being Anakin Skywalker. That one is almost a given at this point considering the whole thing with uh Salt Lake Comic Con and everything uh the other one or the next one rather is Yoda again kind of anticipated because he was in the last Skywalker or the last Jedi oh I'm getting ahead of myself uh th- then we have Obi-Wan again kind of expecting this uh Ewan McGregor hasn't said anything about being on set or anything like that but very likely we will see something uh, from him. Now, the two interesting 
rumored cameos are Ahsoka Tano, who we've talked about previously as potentially being part of the Kevin Feige Star Wars movie, because Feige wanted, according to a rumor, wanted to cast Brie Larson as Ahsoka Tano. So if Ahsoka makes it into this movie, it'll be the first time that an animated character uh, transitions into live action. It'll also potentially be our first look at Brie Larson as this character. Hopefully not. Uh, and then the other one is the same situation. Uh, Ezra Bridger is also from uh, the animated series. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're both from Rebels. Is that correct? Uh, let me know. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, both of those, very, very interesting. If the, if they are true, they are the first. this will be the first time that animated characters can make that transition to live action. Uh, and then the last one is also a given. I feel like I just saw, actually, a confirmation that this is true, so it's kind of not even really worth it to say it, but I'm not going to be ambiguous. Maz Katana is going to be in the movie. Uh, I don't know why people are, oh, there's a rumor that Maz... I feel like she's been in the last two movies, so it shouldn't be uh, unanticipated that she'll be in the next one. Anyway, we're moving on to Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Now, there are leaks for this movie, potentially. We're not going to read the leaks. We're going to touch on a couple of interesting pieces from the leaks because we have talked about potential uh, leaks about this movie previously, and this kind of bleeds into that. So, uh, first off, we have the actual release date has been potentially leaked as July 28th of 2023. Uh, it will be it will take place in the MCU mythology after Thor, Love and Thunder. And there are two drafts of the movie that uh, James Gunn is is going to be working with. One draft is based on is based on having Thor, Chris Hemsworth at in as a part of the movie. The other draft is based on not having Thor as part of the movie. It all depends on how Love and Thunder turns out. So he'll be working pr very closely with Taika Waititi presumably uh, to make to see which one of these scripts he's going to be filming. Uh, so the the potential plot leak spoilers um, we're we're hearing a lot more about the high evolutionary though now it seems he's not the main villain for the movie as well as Adam Warlock and we might be getting Drax's adopted daughter from the comic books Cammy who rumored to be played by Millie Bobby Brown uh, again th th these are all not confirmed from studio this is just rumor uh next we're talking about predator yes this freaking franchise that just can't seem to get a foothold in the movies apparently disney is going to be 100 percent rebooting it as a pg-13 series for disney plus um this could be potentially fantastic or it could just be another train wreck if it's true Next, we have Tron. Apparently, speaking of Disney rebooting things, we are getting a full and proper reboot to Tron this time, if the rumor is to be believed, uh, because Legacy was a sequel, and it didn't really do so hot. I mean, the the, the friggin' soundtrack sold more units than the movie did, so... And which is, should have, because, you know, Daft Punk. Anyway, uh, next we're talking about Venom 2. There's a lot floating around about Venom 2. First off, uh, Spider-Man is still only rumored to be uh, making a cameo in Venom 2, but some of those rumors are taking that a little bit further. Now it seems that Spider-Man might be fighting uh, Carnage at some point in the rumor, potentially alongside Venom, uh, potentially by himself at the beginning of the movie, and then he gets called away on some Avengers things, and so Venom has to fight him it this one seems to be very vague and without much leg um next we're talking crisis on infinite earths star girl reportedly will be having a cameo there's a million freaking cameos uh we also have uh david Ma Ma the kid who played bruce wayne in gotham i'm gonna butcher his last name mazuz uh he also is rumored to be showing up in the crisis on infinite earths as a younger bruce wayne from his universe uh 
a lot of really cool stuff is going to be happening with this movie. Uh, next, we're talking about Ace Ventura 3. We have a couple of Jim Carrey rumors for this episode. First off uh, is the Ace Ventura one. Uh, apparently this is in early stages, according to the rumor, uh, with Warner Brothers and Morgan Creek Productions, they want to do a third movie with Jim Carrey. So presumably if Carrey does not sign on, we won't hear anything else about this in the future. Uh, next we're, uh, there's a mask one. Where did it go? There it is. Uh, Warner Brothers also wants to do a sequel to the mask, a proper sequel, not that son of mask garbage, uh, but a proper sequel with Jim Carrey returning as Stanley Ipkiss. That uh, could be awesome. And again, it could be a giant train wreck. Uh, and then let's talk about Secret Wars. Marvel is reportedly courting Hugh Jackman to come back as Wolverine for the Secret Wars movie that they are working on. Uh, I believe the rumor put it at like 2024 or 25, if I remember correctly, because I didn't put it in the notes because, you know, why would I do that? Um so yeah, that's potentially awesome. Now we get to the Henry Cavill Man of Steel rumors. First off, uh, there is The Rock. We've we've discussed previously, The Rock is saying that he wants Henry Cavill to be the Superman that his Black Adam goes up against. Well, in a recent interview, Henry Cavill said this, and I'm quoting, uh, said, I'm always interested to see how that stuff turns out that is very much a, a chapter of my past. I would rather talk about what's going to happen in the future, the future of Superman, how I can express that character from the comic books, which ties in nicely to Man of Steel. Man of Steel, I really like that movie, and I'd like to be able to, to tell the story where it was left off at that point. Then the interviewer presses him a little bit and and tries to get a little bit more information out of him, um, trying to you know see if that means that there's something in the works. And he says, "I can tell you nothing, unfortunately. I would it would indeed be awesome." Uh, which has led a lot of rumors to spring up out of this, saying Henry Cavill is going to come back as Superman. The potential definitely does still exist. There, There is a strong contingency for that, but the likelihood, I feel like, is pretty small. Uh, so the next rumor we've got is Martian Manhunter. More rumblings of a Martian Manhunter movie are kicking around. Uh, Warner Brothers is reportedly looking for somebody to play the character, which presumably, if this rumor is to be believed, means they have a production staff and a script to work off of. Uh, they are looking for a... Uh, according to the rumor, they're looking for a POC, a person of color, to play John Jones, which makes sense because every representation we've had of him, for as long as I can remember anyway, has always been his human-looking form is always a black dude. So, totally makes sense. Uh, next, we're talking about that Wolverine thing that I mentioned in the teaser. Uh, that is, uh, Marvel is considering an R rating this is very much rumor because not only do, have they not confirmed that there's going to be a Wolverine movie, but they're definitely not confirming anything aside from Deadpool is going to be rated R in the MCU. And even Deadpool is going to be more MCU adjacent than anything. So they're, they're, the rumor says they are going to go with an R rated movie and the story for that movie is going to be uh, the Weapon X story. So uh, it, it's going to presumably be a horror style movie that doesn't really have Wolverine as the central character necessary as the as the point of view character I guess uh, because Weapon X is that's Wolverine's story so but he's not going to be the point of view character he's going to be basically a feral monster throughout the course of the movie again if the rumor is to be believed uh, so next we have Punisher this one is very interesting and I feel like one of the least likely to happen. Apparently, Hulu might be seeing season three of the John Barenthal Punisher. Uh, Feige is trying to work his magic if you want to believe the stories and get the John Barenthal because we already have quasi confirmation, which is really just say rumors from plethora of sources uh, saying that we're going to be seeing uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones in the MCU very soon. So Barenthal's Punisher being the fan favorite, if that's the case with Daredevil and Jessica Jones, then kind of makes sense that they would do something with Barenthal's Punisher. And it's not going to go on Disney Plus because it's definitely a little too 
mature for that. Anyway, uh, next we are moving into video game territory. We have a rumor from the PlayStation camp saying that uh, it's it's uh, from Masayasu Ito, who is the executive VP of hardware engineering and operation at Sony. Uh, he hinted at the fact that there is going to be a PS5 Pro. Uh, the, the, he didn't come out and say it. He was kind of t speaking vaguely in an interview when he said that because the, sh the lifespan of consoles is shortening so much, they're playing with things that, that lends itself to b make p people believe that PlayStation 5 will get a Pro version about halfway through the life cycle of the console, much like PlayStation 4 did. Uh, and then our final rumor for the episode is also a video game rumor. It is coming from Xbox. Uh, Microsoft is reportedly not just working on Scarlet. Well, let me rephrase that. Scarlet is actually a uh, code name for a bigger project that involves two consoles. Uh, we've re we've talked about this on on uh, Week in Nerddom before. That being that potentially the next gen. This was long before Scarlet was even confirmed. But that the next gen console for Microsoft was going to be two tiers somehow, kind of like Xbox One S versus the Xbox. Xbox One X. So this current rumor says that Scarlet is actually a code name for two different projects. One project being Lockhart and one project being Anaconda. Anaconda being the console that we are all thinking they're going to be making anyway. And then Lockhart being something new, something kind of more akin to, again, the Xbox One S Though it sounds like there's going to be a lot of cloud gaming and something to do with uh, mobile somehow. I mean, if it's cloud, that kind of makes sense. But yeah, that very, very interesting stuff going on in the realm of the rumors. And that does it for this episode of Rumors, Nerds. For a more in-depth conversation on these rumors, plus to catch up on all of the nerdy headlines, then you can join me over on my personal YouTube channel, Generally Nerdy, though right now that's just as dim as this. So uh, go check out all of the other videos I've got on, on Generally Nerdy. Uh, photography stuff, some Comic-Con stuff, all of that jazz can be found over on Generally Nerdy on YouTube. While you're here, though, don't forget forget to like, subscribe, and share on all of the Big Show Entertainment Media platforms, and tune in next week when we will discuss all of the new rumors that have come up since now. Till then, thank you for joining me, nerds, and we will see you next time.